A Mulberry Street, nel cuore della Little Italy di New York, sorge l'Italian American Museum. I needed a way to reconnect myself. I needed to find out where I belong in this world and how I, how I, how I can connect. The museum helped me to do that. By understanding more of your background, you're more congruous as a human being. But everybody should do this, but especially Italians. Because to lose that beautiful heritage, that beautiful tradition, that beautiful humanity that we have would be, would be terrible. We need to have a museum. We need to have a place that we can call our own. The first part of it, of course, is Banca Stavale, which is the old bank, which was the immigrant bank, which the immigrants used as a way station to go back and forth to Italy. They'd buy their tickets, their steamship tickets, right here at this counter, right behind me. And then they would go back, they would go back to Italy, and then they'd come back again, and eventually they would send for their families. Parte del museo è dedicata agli italoamericani che si sono distinti nella lotta contro il crimine, come Gio Petrosino e il mitico sindaco di New York, Fiorello La Guardia. Ve lo dico una volta per tutte. Noi non tollereremo queste macchinette. Non permetteremo che questa frode organizzata prosperi nella città di New York. Tutti questi oggetti sono stati confiscati dal Dipartimento di Polizia di New York a ladri, gangster e truffatori. In realtà, solo un italo americano su 10.000 aveva rapporti con la criminalità, ma gangster del calibro di Al Capone, Lucky Luciano e Frankie Yale hanno contribuito alla creazione dello stereotipo dell'italiano mafioso. Siamo andati in quattro il giorno di San Valentino, che è una festa americana. Siamo arrivati a Neuna e si trovavano nel garage. Siamo entrati con la mitra e l'abbiamo sterminata. Il professor Scelza ha una precisa opinione al riguardo. Hollywood has always been very much excited about the criminal, about the person who is outside of society. And the American public likes to watch and learn about these types of people. Italians happen to be the most colorful type of people, and they've actually had uh, organizations that came up at the same time the movie industry was becoming big in America in the 1930s and 40s. I mafiosi italiani colpiscono l'immaginazione e Hollywood li trasforma in veri e propri miti cinematografici. Unfortunately, the first generation forgets who they are, who came to America, the early ones, my grandparents. But the second generation works hard. The third generation, like myself, really wants to know more about their roots. And we feel Italian. We know there's something about us that's Italian, but we need to know more and we need to learn more about it. And a place like the Italian American Museum is a place where you can learn more about your roots and your heritage, and you can reconnect with your DNA because this is something that runs in our blood and our veins, whether you're in France, Germany, Africa, no matter where you are, you're still Italian.